Hello. Hi, it's us again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed chapter one and are ready for chapter, chapter two, two of Florence and Watson Presents The Great Pangolin Mystery. Do you, do you guys remember what happened in chapter one? <sighs> Big drama. Started off pretty calm and peaceful. Mm, They're having peaceful. a wonderful little uh, nighttime rendezvous, Florence and Watson and Pangy the Pangolin. But then, the very next day, Pangy disappeared. Mm -hmm. And in chapter two, you're going to find out what the rest of the village does when they find out that Pangy has disappeared. But um, we thought we'd let you know what kind of animals you're going to meet in the village. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so We've many, got... so we're just going to introduce two at the moment. Yeah, right? we'll, give, we'll let you know a little bit about Porky the Porcupine, okay. who's in the story. He's pretty cool. Can I read to you from our mm -hmm. wonderful book? This is the Sassol, uh, uh, my first book of wildlife, mm -hmm. which is a very, very cool book. The porcupine is active at night and sleeps during the day in a large burrow. It eats all sorts of plants and sometimes raids crops or gardens. If attacked, it bristles up its pointed quills and tries to stick them into the attacker. Owie! Owie! Imagine sitting on a porcupine. Owie, owie. Owie. And then you're also going to meet some meerkats. Mm -hmm. Meerkats are very, very cool. They're also known as suricates. Um, this mongoose forages during the day and sleeps in holes in termite mounds at night. It lives in social groups with guards that keep watch and give an alarm call if they spot a predator. Babysitters look after the young while their mothers search for food. So they've, they've got very, 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 very involved social system meerkats and they love being together and they, they move around in large family groups. Very cute, hey? Very cute. But that's not the only animals you're going to meet in, in, in this next chapter. There are so many yeah. more. But maybe we should read the chapter and then maybe so. meet them yourselves. Are you ready? Okay, so remember, Pangy the Pangolin had disappeared. Let's okay. see what happens. Oh, I was going to open chapter my book. Chapter 2. And so that's where we begin, a meeting in the town barn, with everyone wondering where Pangolin might have gone. They were fine, they were scuffled, yelped the meerkat in a huddle. And she left her instrument. There must have been an incident, said Giraffe from up high, while Impala tried not to cry. Oh, uh, uh, fine. Shaman, maybe you should just cry. I don't need to cry. You'll feel so much better. I'm after. fine. It's much better if you just like suppress your emotions. I'm totally crying. These are real tears. Do you have a tissue for me? I'm... Order! Oh, 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 order! Came Henry Hardy Dar's familiar refrain. We cannot descend into panic again. We have to get to the bottom of this. Something has gone badly amiss. Who did it? Who's to blame? Come on, spit it! I need a name! Was it you? Who did it? Who's to blame? Come on, spit it! I need a name! Who did it? Who's to blame? Come on, spit it! I need a name! Uh, it must be Snake. He likes to bake. Maybe he made a pangolin cake. Cried B the buffalo in desperation. He was often a victim of misinformation. Yeah, bro, that's total misinformation. Whatever that means. You can't, I mean, whatever that means. <laughs> you can't believe everything you read on Facebook, bro. Uh, what's Facebook? It's just like a book you put your face on or in. This is like so that. weird. I know it's weird. Besides which, I'm telling you, it's owl. Wind in parlance, fear. His temper is foul. He's the culprit here. Who did it? Who's, Who's the blame? Come on, stand. I need a name. Who did it? Who's the blame? Come on, spirit. I need a name. No, said Giraffe. Don't make me laugh. It's those dirty rats. Just look at the stats. The sniffle and sneak, they nibble and squeak, they stolen our friend. This must come to an end. Who did it? Who's to blame? Come on, spirit, I need a name. Who did it? Who's to blame? Come on, spirit, I need a name. Must be snake, he likes to bake. Maybe he made a bangle and cake. No, it's all his temper is foul. It falls. Dirty rats, just look at the stats. The simple legs need they nibble and squeak. They've stolen our friend. This must come to an end. Who did it? 
spit it. Who's to blame? Was it you? Come on, spit it. I need a name. Who's your thing, you Who did it? We need to know. Who's to blame? Come on, spit it. We need a name. Just then, in the middle of all this hullabaloo, Petal the Striped Mouse had her say too. Um, excuse me, I think you guys are getting a little carried away. Snake can be deadly. I know he'd snack on me, but he wouldn't eat Pangy. She's just not his cup of tea. And as for Owl, well, it's the same. He'd munch me in a flash. But to give him the blame, She's about to break out into song. She does it all the time. Listen to this. You think rats are creepy. Said, Don't forget me. Together we'll solve the, the great, great pangolin mystery. <gasps> that is the end of chapter two. It is. Oh, oh my goodness. I wonder what's going to happen in chapter three. I think the team are going to go searching. Yes, they will. But we won't get there now. You've got to watch chapter three. Bye. Bye. See you later.